Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today I have got a slightly different video for you. It has um, made its rounds on YouTube before, quite a few months ago now, probably at the start of the year. And I thought it was quite a fun one to do. And when I started out doing makeup, I was working on quite a budget. When I started collecting it all, I was probably in high school, so I really didn't have a lot of money. And I know that it... It can be expensive and watching all these videos you do want to go to try the higher end products which I do and I do have a few of them in my collection but on a day to day basis I do wear a lot of drugstore products so I thought I'd put together a beginner's guide to um, makeup tools and beauty products out there if you are starting out. So I'll start with the tool section first. I haven't got a massive range of different brushes just because you can use them for a few other pieces I'm working on if you are really on a budget here. So these tools can be used for numerous different things. So I'll start out with the ones that are a little bit more pricier and they are the Real Techniques brushes. I really love these. I remember I had to save up so much money to get these and I believe it was when my local supermarket Asda were, um, brought them in on their beauty aisle and they were a little bit cheaper than Boots and Superdrug. You can still get them um, from supermarkets so do shop around and get them. I apologise because they are a little bit dirty because I do need to clean them. But the first one is this, um, the names are scrubbed off. So this is the powder brush and it's really lovely. It's thick, it's super soft. I've washed this on numerous occasions and the bristles do not turn straw-like. They really do clean very well. I absolutely love this. It's perfect for just getting all over the face. I do usually go in with a smaller brush under the eyes just to ensure that I don't crease under there with my concealer. But yeah, this is a fantastic one. And if you're wanting to go in with a bit of, prow a bit of powder, a bit of bronzer, just to um, go in with that health, a bit of a glow, then this one, again, is perfect just to go all over the face. I can't remember the prices of all of these, but I will link them in the description box below so you can go check them out. Then the next one is the blush brush. I love this. Um, it's really nice, it tapers as it goes up and it's just the perfect size just to go on the apples of your cheeks and again it washes really well and it's just super soft to use. I absolutely love this one and the colours are so pretty too so they go perfect if you want them to go on display. And the next one is the um, Expert Face Brush. So this is great for loads of different uses. I use this in the past for applying blusher. You can really get into the crease for apply. well not into the crease, but you can really get into the hollows of your faces to apply bronzer. If you want them to go for a bit more of a chiselled look, you can use this for concealer under your eyes. You can really get into the... Um, the ridges of your nose as well. Apologies, my dog's just tearing apart my other city over there. Um, so yeah, this is great multifunctional use for this. So if you really are on a budget, yes, do wash them between uses, but this is perfect for doing lots of different, my hair is just a mess right now. Um, it's perfect for going in with lots of different things. And then going on to the cheaper brushes. Now Primark have brought out their own range and I really like them. I've used them, I think I picked up quite a few of them now. Don't you dare. Just move them this side of the table. Yeah, so Primark brought out their range of brushes earlier on this year. Um, it is part of the PS Pro range, I believe these ones are. And they are really good. I mean... They wash well, they are a bit of a copy to the Real Technique, Real Technique brushes, but I do love these and they are fab, they are so cheap. So the first thing is the um, powder brush, again very similar to this one, it's got um, a lot of bristles here and it is super soft. The only downside to these, which you can tell they're cheap, is they do come apart like this, so this is... I mean, it's great if you're travelling and you just want to use a little brush like this, but yeah, you, you do pay, it. I mean, it does show what you pay for them. I think this was only about three or four pounds, so it's not too bad, and I guess you could glue it back together, um, but the, the brushes are great, they're so soft, they apply products really well, 
Again, you can use this for powder, you can use this for bronzer, and it is a great, um, great brush. Then the next one um, is this one, and it is a much smaller brush, and I use this for either blusher or I really like it for bronzer. So I tend to use an angled brush for bronzer to get into the hollows of my cheeks, and then um, I go over it with a warmer bronzer to... to um, Brighten up my face and make me look like I'm a little bit more tanned than what I am. Um, then I use this one. I think this one was around two or three pounds, and I really like it. And this one is a pretty sturdy one. And what's fab about these brushes are uh, they are very on trend. They have the um, bronze roll gold, rose gold here. Um, so that's fab if you want to put them on display. And then the next two brushes I have, I picked up a couple ones of these, and these are uh, much smaller, and they are an angled eyeshadow brush. Again, apologies, it's a little bit mucky. I use this, again, for loads of different things. So I use it, oh my god, my dog is eating my mascara. Um, I use this for applying eyeshadow. It is really great to um, get the angle to go in the crease of the eyelid. It is perfect for that. It's perfect for blending. I also have one of these for concealer. So I just dab the concealer on my face and then I go in with this brush and it is fab just to get into the creases of your nose. Again, it is really, really good. Um, and you can also use this for highlighter too, so if you want to just get it just here, just on um, the um, cheekbone or under your brow um, or down the ridge of your nose, this is another great tool to use. And I think this one's only like one or two pounds, so really inexpensive. And then the next one I have got is this angled um, eyebrow tool. Seriously dog, driving me insane. And this has the little spoolie on the end and then it is great little um, angled brush here. So I really like this. This is the one that I reach for all the time. I don't use my other eyebrow um, brush anymore. I can't even remember if I've still got it or the brand that I used. But I really like this. You, you do need to wash the eyebrow ones a lot more than your other brushes. Just because it has so much product on there. But this is fab for powder to the wax products. I really, really love this. And then the final brush I've got is from a company called Elf. And it is a um, stipple brush. This is fab for foundation or for liquid products. Um, Elf is a company online. Just give them a little Google. Elf Cosmetics and they'll come straight up. They are fab. I discovered them in... A number of years ago now, I was still at Unit, and they are great. They are a really cheap brand. Not cheap as in cheap and tacky, but they are a great brand if you are on a budget. And I just picked this up. I really love this applying foundation. I don't really use the liquid products or cream products that much. I don't really get on with them, but this is fab, and it's just so soft. And yeah, I, I have no idea how much this is, but I'll link it in the description box below, and it is a... Um, fab brush to use. It's better when you want a more lighter coverage, whereas if you want a thicker coverage, heavier coverage, sorry, then I would go for one of these um, expert face brushes or for a um, beauty blender. I would use one of them too. I haven't brought one down with me, but Real Techniques do do one and Primac do them too. So yeah, if you are on the market for um, a beauty blender, then definitely try out those two brands. Now I'll go in the order as I apply my makeup, and I will go in with concealer first. I've got a few picks for each. So the, the main two concealers that I use is either the 17 Foie Paint, Foie, Foie, Foie Paint, um, this is a heavy duty under eye concealer. This is fab if you are really struggling with bags under your eyes. I've literally got none left as you can see. But this is a fab um, concealer. It is perfect pocket size if you are travelling. It has a mirror in there too. Um, but yeah, you can get this from all drugstores. And then the other one which I love and I'm wearing today and I wear every single day is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I have got it in shade Fair and I actually use the 17 one in Fair. Now there's not much 
um, different choices for colours, well shades should I say, in these two concealers so that is the downside to this. But I absolutely love this collection one. They are bringing out more of these products in terms of they're bringing out the um, the correction ones. So I use the green ones to get rid of my redness. Again, that is fab if you are wanting, um, if you do struggle with breakouts or redness on the skin, that is a perfect one. And that is, I think, around four five ninety nine. Now, these have gone up in price by about £2 since when I first started buying these years and years ago, but they're still inexpensive and I absolutely love these. And you can pick them up in your supermarkets as well because I think most of them do stock the collection brand. Now, going into foundations, and I've only picked three different ones up, but there's a whole range of fantastic ones out there. I haven't tried the Primark ones, they're a lot cheaper, but I have seen good reviews for them, so definitely do try them out. My top tip for if you're buying foundation is to test a few on um, the um, on your wrist or just on your neck here near your face and then go outside to the shop because shops use warming light so it may look like it suits your skin colour and it is the perfect shade but when you walk outside it is that's it Lenny just is just laid across here um you alright down there you comfy you can pick up a, con um, a foundation, test it on you, think, yeah, perfect, I'm going to buy that. You walk out the shop and it is orange. So, yeah, definitely do go into natural lighting if you are purchasing a new foundation. So, I've got two from L'Oreal and then one from Kiko Milano. Um, all about the same price. So, the Kiko one is the Unlimited Foundation. Now, I don't know whether you can still pick this one up, but they do a whole heap of different foundations out there for different skin tones. I really like this one. It's quite um, fancy packaging in the terms of you think it's more a higher-end product because it is glass. And I just love this. It reminds me of MAC and um, NARS. I really like this one. I've got it in Warm Rose 30 and it's just lovely, it's a pump one, these are the best ones to go for um, yeah it's really good and definitely try Kiko as a brand it might be a little bit more expensive in some areas than a drugstore but do go check them out and then the next two are L'Oreal products so I've gone for the Infallible Total Cover this is a full coverage longwear foundation and this has a matte consistency and I absolutely love this. It is a fantastic foundation. I go for the shade Parsley but it does come up a little bit pink on my skin tone so again just test it out. And then I've gone for another L'Oreal one and this is their infallible 24 hour matte. Um, this is more of a medium um, texture and it says it's high coverage. It is a little bit but not as high coverage as this one and again it's another matte one and these are just perfect little tubes and easy to carry around and I would say that this one is for more of a dewy look but again drugstores have a whole heap of different foundations ranging at different prices so yeah go out there and have a look. Moving in with um, powders and I've got two here. Please excuse the packaging on one because this is the downside to this product. The packaging is not the best. I mean I dropped it and it broke into pieces, did the lid and I've had to sellotape this. This is the Rimmel powder and it is 001 transparent and it's just a fab compact powder I mean again I have dropped this and I guess it's the same with every product it can happen whether you spend a lot of money or not um, but it just has broken away here at the top but this is a fab product it's only about 299 dollars so not that expensive and it is just great just to um, just go all over the face to um, set your foundation or concealer it's fab and then I have picked up this Revolution Luxury Powder. Now this is in the banana one, but they have brought out a, I think it's lace. So if you are much paler, then this is the perfect powder. 
I'm loving powders at the moment. I much prefer the translucent ones to the white ones, just so you can bake under your eyes. But I think the lace one from Revolution is perfect for doing that. And you only need a little bit. These products really do go a long way, more so than what the compact powders do. These ones don't last as long, uh, where this lasts a long time. So yeah, this is a fab product and again, it is really cheap. Revolution, I've got a few pieces down here from them. They're a brand to use if you are on a budget and they're going across a lot. They're opening stands nationwide now. Um, I know there's one opening up in Medwall near me, um, there's one in my local town, they are coming a lot more popular in super drug stores but, you could, but they also have a website too where it has a lot more products on there so definitely check them out. What shall we do next? We're going with brows because that's the way I do it. Now I've got four products here and the first one is the Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit. Now I've completely used this one up, I just wanted to share. Oh no I haven't, this is a new one. Um, so it looks like this, I'm just holding on to it, and you get a little tweezer and then you do get a little um, brow tool in there. I don't use the brow tool, I don't get on with it, I go in with the Primark one and you get a clear wax um, bit here. This is fab just to, um, you can use it two ways. You can go in with the wax and then use the powder. Oh my God, this dog, this dog is driving me insane. So you can use the wax and then dip into the powder and go on your eyes, or you can use the wax first and then the powder will set into it after. I've used up this wax because my eyebrows are unruly, so I need so much wax, it's unreal. And then there's three different shades. So you've got a cooler, lighter brown, then you've got um, a medium brown, and then you've got a um, ready-toned brown, and these are fab. The next one I've picked up is the Tanya Burr Eyebrow Palette. And this one, again, comes with four different shades, and it comes with tweezers and a little um, brush. As you can tell, I've not used these just because I stick to the ones I know. So, it has um, two, well, three different browns. So again, it's a um, cool toned lighter brown and then a ready warmer brown. That one's a ready warm one, that one's a cool toned one. And then it has got the pebble one, so a much lighter brown if you have got blonde hair. And then it has a little highlighter too, so it's perfect just to you can put it just here, just by the arch, and then you can also put it just above the arch too if you really wanting to go for that glowy look. And these can be purchased from Feel Unique Online, I believe, and Superdrug. And then I've just got two other products, um, both from Maybelline, both from the same collection, which is the Brow Drama. And this is the Pomade Crayon. It's super easy to use, so you can either use this to sweep over your eyebrow, or again, I go in with this brush just get a bit of product off and then go in my brow. This is super easy to use if you're a lover of a pomade. And I'm a lover of setting my brows. I reach more for the benefit one on a day-to-day -day basis just because that's at the top of my um, brow collection. But Maybelline is a, another go-to product. So um, it is just this little spoolie and then it is a clear product you can use this on your brows without any other product on there just to set them if you're having a non-makeup day but your brows are being a little bit unruly. I do that sometimes just because you, if you set them a little bit you do feel like you're a little more put together. It may sound silly. Um, but yeah, I really love this one and it is a transparent one but you can get them um, with an actual colour in there so you don't have to use a powder you can use one of these products and it adds a bit of colour onto your brow as well I feel like I'm rushing through this but I'm trying to get it in all one video so I do apologise 